First, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Right? Um, salutes to you, brothers, teaching this word to the hopeful elect in truth and sincerity also. And this video, I'm going to be speaking about how the prophets, they, they, they have the word of the Lord and they came to speak the truth of the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to get into that. I'm going to start with the book of First Samuel chapter 16 and verse, verse 4. It says, And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? Right, so the key thing to understand about this is that the elders of that town, they trembled at seeing the coming of Prophet Samuel. Now, why would they tremble? Why would they be fearful that the Prophet Samuel was coming? Why would they ask him if he comes peaceably? Back in those days, the people, they knew how important the prophets were. Right? The prophets, they held the word of the Lord they knew the scriptures they knew the will of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai and the people they knew that when the prophet comes into the town it's because they've either done something good or they've done something bad they knew that the prophet of the Lord was coming because he was carrying good news or he was carrying bad news that's why they asked him are you coming in peace a lot of the times when the prophets came and prophesied that would cause controversy mixed emotions uproars different things like that all right riots you know <laughs> amen you know so that's the key thing to understand because in these last days nothing's changed the same thing it applies all right, let's get that scripture in, in the book of First uh, Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 32. And it reads, And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So that means that in these last days, because the, the Lord works with the process of reincarnation, which means back in the flesh, in the last days, the prophets would return doing the same work of the Lord, prophesying, all right? And prophesying means to say before. So the prophets would do the will, the, will, the work of the Lord, saying what the Lord was going to do before the Lord brings it to pass, all right? So being subject to the spirit of the prophets means that the brothers in his last days would be doing the same work that the men of the Lord did in times past. All right. And that's what we're doing when we're on the highways and byways. Speaking his word in these videos. Right. We're doing the same thing. Lord willing, we're of that chosen elect. Doing the same things we've done in the ancient world. All right. We're doing that because the Lord has put his spirit upon us to do this work. He's opened our eyes to see, right? We have the truth, right? Coming out of the Holy Bible. Now, remembering now that, that the people back in the, in that time, right? They trembled, man, right? At the sight of the prophet's son. That's the thing. The elites, the wicked of this world, you know, the Edomites, which are the so-called white man, they tremble also, right? Because they see the prophets back prophesying the end of this kingdom. They see the men of the Lord prophesying the return of our Lord and Savior, which is the so called black man, according to Revelations, out of the tribe of Judah, right? And that doesn't mean anything good for the wicked elite that are ruling because they are going to lose power. The Lord is going to return and destroy. The kingdom of Esau, which is the wicked, all right, that they would be ruling in these last days. 
right? And um, the prophets, they would have, they would be speaking the truth, right? Whether they, you know, however they dress, however they come, the Lord is dealing with the elect, all right? And they would be speaking the truth according to the scriptures, all right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, all right? Evil was a bad time. Pestilence is all the, the plagues, the diseases, viruses, I is the judgment of the Heavenly Father, right? So when you see guys talking about there's no Jacob's trouble coming, there ain't going to be no uh, microchip, the microchip's not the mark of the beast, those guys, they're not speaking the truth of the word of the Lord, right? They're not prophesying against these kingdoms. They're not telling you of the destruction and the evil that's going to come. They're not warning you. But see, the blood is off our hands, right? The brothers that are doing the work truthfully, in sincerity. All right, because we're telling you of these things that are coming. We're telling you that the Lord is going to bring World War Three. We're telling you the Lord's going to make that microchip mandatory, right? Which is the mark of the beast, right? And all of these things are going to be happening before the return of the Lord, before the end destruction. Right, but those that are telling you something different right they're false prophets right they're not the men of the lord right and those that follow after them they're the blind following after the blind right they're going to be destroyed in these last days right this is the book of isaiah 30 and 10 it says which i'm gonna start from nine where it says that this is a rebellious people right which is talking about the 12 tribes of israel which are so-called negroes latinos native american indians all right, and our scattered seed, all right, the children of Israel. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So those of our people, which are known as the group of two thirds, they don't want to repent. They don't want to return unto the Lord through this truth. They want to follow after their own lusts. They want to hear, you know, uh, they, you know, their their own uh, philosophy, their own doctrines. They don't want to follow after the law of the Lord all right, and his commandments. Verse 10 says, which say to the seers, see not. All right? And who are the seers? That's the prophets. Because they can see, they have the vision. The Lord has revealed this truth unto the prophets, the seers. But it says, this is the mindset of the two thirds that don't want to re repent. It says, which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, Prophesy not unto us right things. Uh, and, you know, that shows you how off the two thirds are. They're telling the, the prophets, the seers, see not. Right. So that's like, you know, saying to, you know, one of the brothers, you got, you've seen, you've already seen it because you got the vision. You've seen America being hit with nukes, ICBM missiles. You've seen World War Three. You, you already picture it. You know, you have faith and believe in the scriptures. This is going to happen. And then some two third you know, walks past and, and tells you, hey man, <laughs> no, you ain't seen that and don't believe that. Hey, but we have the faith. We've been, we've seen it. You can't, once you see it, you can't unsee it. That's, that's how heavy this truth is. But the elect, they ain't going to be deceived. Right. But you're going to have the two first. They're going to go after their own lust, man. Thinking about, you know, deceits, right. Which it says, it says, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Right? So they don't want to hear that America, which is Babylon, is going to be destroyed for all the wickedness that is done in the earth. They don't want to hear that the Lord is going to bring a destruction to this earth. They, they don't want to hear these things. They want to hear, oh, everything's going to go back to normal. This whole pandemic is, is all going to be, you know, all over soon. They want to hear things that sound good to the ears, but that's not what the Lord is saying. All right. But that's what false prophets are saying. All right. And the rebellious, the two thirds, they're going to follow after that. 
but they're going to be destroyed. That's the thing. And when the kingdom is established, the two thirds will come back through the elect, right? But before the kingdom is established, the two thirds are going to be punished. They're going to be destroyed with the heathens, with the other nations in the in the destruction of America, with the missiles, the fiery judgment, right? That's all going to happen. All right. So let's get the book of uh let's get Daniel's um no wait. Let's get Proverbs twenty nine because this is the thing that's the most key and important thing is you gotta be able to see this happening. Alright. This is Proverbs twenty nine and eighteen. It says where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So the two thirds of our people, they have no vision. They don't want to keep the law of the Heavenly Father. So they're going to perish. Right? But you're going to have the elect, 144,000, right? The remnant, the elect. They're going to be saved. Why? Because they repent and follow after the righteousness of the Heavenly Father, right? Through having faith in Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Right, keeping the laws the best that they're able. But we can actually see the prophecies that are that we read about in the Holy Bible come into pass, manifesting before our eyes. We can see these things happening. Right? Can you picture Yahweh Shai returning with an army of angels, with the chariots of the Lord? Right? Invading this earth. Right? Putting the elites and these nations, these heathens in chains, putting them in slavery. Right, and can you see us ruling? That's the thing. The elect have that vision. I right? that's why we continue in his faith. All right, in hopes of salvation, right? And partaking in the glory under the Lord. All right, because that is coming. The Lord is coming to return to bring these nations down and to establish the kingdom of heaven, right? Which is gonna be a glorious kingdom that's gonna be everlasting, right? This is the book of Daniel seven. And verse 13, I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him. Right. So this is the prophet Daniel. Right? He's seen in the night's vision. So we got to be in a mindset. We got to see these things. All right. This is what he saw. Right. The son of man represents our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Right. He came with the clouds of heaven. And that represents the chariots of the Lord, the vehicles of heaven that the angels travel in. He's coming with an army, right, to bring destruction to the wicked and salvation to the elect. Right, verse 14 says, and, to, and there was given him dominion. Right, so when the Lord comes, he's not going to be negotiating with other nations. No, he's going to dominate them. He's going to have the power over them. It says, there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom. That all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His, dom his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Right? So that's that's what's coming. Alright, and you know what? I'm gonna get Revelations 18 because that kingdom of heaven of the Lord is gonna be established after Esau and his kingdom which is spearheaded by America, is destroyed. All right, this is the book of Revelations 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So Babylon is, is talking about America, the land of confusion. All right, where same-sex marriage and all these uh, philosophies and wicked doctrines, right, and blasphemy is upheld, right. That is a filthy land, right. The, the, you know all these um, f doctrines and philosophies against the Lord, right. It, it is all going to be brought down, right. It, it said it's fallen and it's fallen, right. That's the thing, and we're all waiting upon this this great day because once America is is brought down. That's when the Lord is going to return with, with the kingdom. 
And that's going to be for the elect Israelites, right? We're going to be ruling above all nations because Daniel 7 said that all nations, languages, they're all going to serve our Lord, right? And, and in turn serve us, right? The Israelites are going to be ruling over the nations, right? Once America is destroyed, verse 3 says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. So all the other nations, they're in agreement with America and, her, and the philosophies and the doctrines. That's why they have a slice in this world. That's why they're all above the Israelites, right? We're on the bottom of these nations. But they're going to go down in the destruction with America, right? Verse 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. That America's going to be plagued, right? The destruction, all the violence, everything that's going to be coming, right? The earthquakes, right? And you've got the rumors of wars, right? World War Three is going to hit, you know, in a sudden, because you had, at the start of this year, 2020, in January, you had the um, one of the top generals uh, named Soleimani, he was assassinated, right? One of the top generals of Iran, right? Soleimani, he was assassinated. And towards the end of the year, you had one of the top um, people for their nuclear program. He was assassinated as well. So that's more fuel to the fire of the World War Three that's going to come, right? Between America and all the other nations, right? So the Lord is going to play America for all the wickedness, right? The transatlantic slave trade of the Israelites, Lord wants America destroyed, man, for all these things. Verse 5 says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she have filled, fill to her double. So America hasn't gotten away of anything, right? These Edomites, these nations that are involved, the Lord remembers, okay? But starting with America, America's going to get that main judgment because it's going to be completely destroyed and going to be turned into a desert after its judgment right verse 7 how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart i sit a queen and i'm the widow and shall see no sorrow right because no destruction no war has really touched america and but america is going to be brought down by the power of the lord man right they're they're proud because they say America's got the greatest military in the world. And they, you know, they, they you know, trust in their weapons and their armies, their military. But um, they, the Lord is above them, right? Verse 8 says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. All right? And, and all these things, going back to what the prophets would be speaking about, right? The downfall of these nations. You know, the famines, the plagues, you know, the evils, the war. Right, these things are gonna come ultimately before the return of the Lord, right, and the end of this wicked empire, the wicked kingdom of Esau. Right, and America is gonna get the worst judgment. Right, so it says, And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. Right? So yeah, that that fire, man, is talking about the missiles, World War Three, ICBMs, the fire from the chariots. Right, that's the judgment that the Lord is going to bring, all right, upon that wicked kingdom. All right, so really, I'm going to end it there. That's what I wanted to um, bring up and speak on in in this video. You know, first I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Waharuka Kadash, and I'm going to end it there. And with that, to the hopeful elect, the men, women, and children, the true believers to be saved in these last days. Shalom.